from a construction mistake that gave rise to one of the most iconic landmarks in the entire world, to a tragic building collapse. One of the most notorious construction mistakes in the world is the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. Built on unstable ground, the tower began to tilt during construction in the 12th century. Here are the five construction projects that didn't go as planned. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Leaning Tower of Pisa attracts over 6 million visitors annually, making it one of Italy's most prominent monuments. Interestingly, this famous landmark is the result of a construction flaw. The tower, built in the 13th century, was intended as a freestanding bell tower for the Pisa Cathedral. Its notable four-degree tilt began during its construction in 1173, when the second floor was being added. The loose and unstable subsoil, combined with a shallow three-meter foundation, caused the tower to lean as the ground could not support its weight. How has the tower survived all these years without collapsing? During its initial construction, work was halted for a long period due to conflicts involving the Republic of Genoa, allowing the underlying soil to settle and harden over time. Despite this, the tower's tilt worsened over the following decades, and it was completed nearly 200 years later. By the 1990s, the tilt had increased to about 5.5 degrees, prompting concerns from the Italian government about its stability, especially after another tower collapsed in Pavia in 1989. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was closed to the public, and stabilization efforts included removing the bells, installing cables and adding lead counterweights to reduce the tilt. By the early 21st century, the tilt had been reduced to just under 4 degrees. Today, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of Italy's most visited monuments, famous for the very construction mistake that gave it its unique tilt over 800 years ago. Sometimes, errors can turn out to be fortuitous. China is renowned for its extraordinarily fast, efficient, and record-breaking construction projects. As the world's most populous country, it must meet the ever-growing demand for housing and infrastructure. In 2021 alone, China constructed over 6 million residential properties, making its construction and real estate industries the largest and most developed globally. However, due to its vast scale, tight schedules, and profit-driven motives, China's construction industry often compromises on quality for quick returns on investment, sometimes leading to costly and catastrophic outcomes. One significant incident was the collapse of a 13-story apartment building at the Lotus Riverside Complex in Shanghai on June 27, 2009. The building fell almost entirely intact, narrowly missing adjacent structures, and tragically resulting in the death of a worker collecting his tools. Investigations indicated that the excavation for an underground garage likely caused the foundations to be undermined, leading to the collapse. The excavation destabilized the soil, causing the adjacent riverbank to collapse in water to mix with the ground, loosening the soil and leading to the building's fall. The incident exposed deeper issues within the industry. The construction firm had been warned of potential dangers but ignored these warnings. The supervising company, hired by the construction firm, faced a conflict of interest as reporting problems could lead to postponed or reduced fees from the construction firm. Following the collapse, nine individuals from Shanghai Zhongxing Construction were detained, and many buyers demanded refunds or compensation. The Teton Dam, an earthen structure built atop the Snake River Plain in eastern Idaho, was completed in 1975 at a cost of over $100 million. Designed to serve as an irrigation source, hydroelectric power provider, and flood control measure, the dam held back a massive reservoir. However, within less than a year, issues began to arise. A leak appeared, indicated by brownish water running down the dam's face. Despite efforts to seal it with a bulldozer, the leak rapidly worsened, leading to an urgent evacuation order for the valley residents below. Eventually, one side of the Teton Dam gave way unleashing a torrent of water with a force 20 times greater than Niagara Falls. An eyewitness described the scene as breathtaking and filled with uncertainty about the downstream consequences. Residents had only 20 minutes to reach higher ground, resulting in the tragic deaths of 11 people and 16,000 animals, along with the destruction of buildings in Sugar City and Rexburg. The disaster caused $2 billion in damages and left thousands homeless. The collapse of the Teton Dam was the result of numerous construction errors. It was built on unstable land, which had experienced five earthquakes in the years leading up to construction a concern raised by geologists, but ignored without a proper review. 
During construction, the team encountered fissures and caves in the area, which were filled with sand and cement grout, despite warnings from some experts. Additionally, the dam was constructed using loess, a type of local soil that is not waterproof, making it prone to leaks. The combination of these factors unstable ground, structural voids, and a leaky dam led to the inevitable collapse. A panel of experts ultimately blamed the engineers, rather than the federal agency overseeing the project. Completed in 2009, the Millennium Tower is San Francisco's sixth tallest building, standing at nearly 200 meters. Constructed by Mission Street Development, LLC, at a cost of $350 million, the project seemed successful initially. However, by 2016, residents who had paid up to $13 million for a unit discovered the tower was tilting and sinking. Investigations revealed that the tower's foundation was built on deep sand, rather than bedrock, insufficient to support the heavy structure. Just seven years after opening, the Millennium Tower had sunk 40 centimeters 16 inches and developed a 15 centimeter tilt at the top. This led to immediate lawsuits from the City of San Francisco and the Homeowners Association against the development team, which blamed the builders of the adjacent Transbay Transit Center. However, it was determined that the issues began before the Transbay project started. In September 2018, residents reported hearing creaking and cracking sounds and a loud popping noise woke residents on the 36th floor in the middle of the night. A broken window in a corner unit suggested deeper structural issues. The lawsuits were eventually consolidated, resulting in a settlement to address the problem. Engineers proposed a $100 million plan to drill into the bedrock on the north and west sides of the tower, installing over 50 new piles reaching 70 meters deep to stabilize the structure and reduce the tilt over several years. Construction of the new foundation began in 2020, but was halted in August 2021, when the tower sank an additional inch and the tilt increased. Currently, the tower leans more than 22 inches at the top, and the issue is under investigation before resuming the stabilization work. In 2011, construction commenced on the second phase of Liang Star City in Kunming, China, which included 19 high-rise buildings intended for residential and office use. Just a year after the project started, it changed ownership, and the new company completed the first four high-rises. However, construction on the remaining buildings was halted in 2013 due to financial difficulties. The other 15 buildings, though structurally complete, were left unfinished and began to suffer from rainwater flooding in the basements, causing irreparable foundation damage. In December 2020, another real estate company acquired the property and project rights for approximately $150 million. They quickly realized that the eight-year-old buildings no longer met the evolving demands of the real estate market and decided to demolish the unused structures. Demolition crews used over four tons of explosives and implemented measures to ensure the demolition was as safe as possible. In August 2021, the demolition was executed, bringing the buildings down in just 45 seconds. This event was reportedly the largest single demolition in China, 